If the anatomy chapters are melting your brain, this is gonna help. I'm gonna show you how to remember the key muscle groups using a pattern that actually works. I'm Coach Joe Drake with the Axiom Fitness Academy and I've helped well over a thousand people pass their NASM exam. And my students used to get stuck on muscle names, but now they're passing with ease. Here's the key, don't just memorize the names and where they are, but you wanna think about memorizing the actual function, which just means what does this muscle do? What exercises is it involved in? And this is huge because when you give your brain more context, right, more relevance to the stuff that you're learning, you're giving it a much greater reason to hold on to that information and give it a place in your long-term memory. So what I mean, I'll give you an example. Let's say we're trying to memorize the quads, right? It's one thing to know where the quads are and then getting into the detail of, you know, the rectus. You got your rectus femoris, you got your vastus medialis, you got your vastus lateralis. You know where the muscles are, but what do they do? Think about exercises like the leg extension. Okay, cool. So extending the knee. So that muscle, the quadriceps, they're on the front side of the leg and they work to extend the knee. You want to add those functions in there, not only because it's going to help you on your exam, but if you're trying to be a trainer, this is the stuff that we do. Another great example, let's think about the glutes for a second. You guys can see my glutes back here. So the glutes, we think about those working in exercises like squats and lunges. Well, we know where they are location-wise. We can see they kind of have this diagonal fiber run across the body. They're not just up and down. So they work to extend the hip. They also work with external rotation of the hip and even what we call abduction. So it's a little bit more of an involved process that might actually mean you've got to get up and think about and feel these things and look in the mirror and maybe feel a little bit silly, but you're going to hold on to the information at a much greater level. So your major takeaway, don't just memorize the location, but also memorize and think about the action. It's going to make it way easier to apply that information on any question that you see on the exam. So if you're trying to master the muscles and you want access to the full muscular anatomy guide that our students use to dominate the exam, just comment muscles on this video and I'll DM it to you.